How is the, uh, the situation of drug consumption in Estonia? Well, it is. Uh, it has, of course, uh, become uh, quite bad in the let's say recent ten or fifteen years. Uh, after a while, uh, we gained our independence back, independence back in 1991. At the moment, we can say uh, the basic statistics is that uh, one third of uh, our young people, the people between 15 to 16 years, have used uh, some kind of drugs. It has been uh, quite stable in the recent five years, but uh, we gained from 5% up to 33. So, uh, of course, we are making our efforts at the moment to decrease this number, uh, to raise awareness uh, between, uh, between uh, uh, young people and, of course, uh, treat our drug addicts. And there are approximately 10,000 of them in Estonia. Uh, which is the average age of drug consumption and what kind of substances are more uh, common? Well, our biggest problem in Estonia is uh, synthetic drugs uh, and especially a uh, synthetic, very, very strong uh, uh, drug uh, called fentanyl, which is a synthetic uh, opioid. Ah. And uh, also our uh, drug tests are connected with this drug, approximately a year we are losing 120 people, which is a quite a high number concerning, uh, uh, concerning our, our, the smallness of our society. And uh, I can say that uh, the average, uh, average age of our long-term drug addicts uh, is uh, increasing, which is a good sign, which means that Younger people are not coming uh, coming uh, up uh, to become long-term drug addicts. It is approximately 32, 30, 33 years. It is an average age. But it was much worse uh, even 10 years ago, I think 23, 24. Mm -hmm. So it means that some somewhat awareness has uh, become uh, better. Uh, people uh, and also spe special families have understood uh, the, the problem. Do you have drug recovery programs uh, or other kind of structures similar to ours? Yes, there are, <clears throat> but of course there is uh, never enough and uh, it of course needs a lot of resources and as I see, San Patriano is, is a wonderf wonderful example of uh, this kind of uh, private uh, initiative which has uh, become an extremely successful centre. Uh, we are looking for similar kind of examples from many parts of Europe and, uh, and it, is, it is never enough uh, rehabilitation and treatment for such kind of people. As I said, there are approximately 10,000 uh, drug addicts in Estonia and uh, especially the problem is in, uh, in our capital city and some uh, bigger cities in the eastern, eastern Estonia. We are trying to reach them uh, as much as possible uh, and uh, offer them some kind of help. But of course, it is very, uh, it is very hard and it's very, it's, it's very costly. Of course. How did you know about San Patinian and why you decided to come here to visit? Uh, we got to know from some of our experts, uh, and, uh, but I have to say I am. Uh, amazed uh, how big it is, how many people you are able to involve, uh, how uh, well it is managed and that it, it is managed uh, so that you don't use at all any state money. Mm. We came here to, of course, to collect uh, information and to, to see with our own eyes what you have done here and uh, what are the uh, methods, how to treat people. And uh, of course, we are also surprised that you have such a long-term program but it seems very reasonable that you are helping people out and you are uh, you're making them self-confident you are raising their self-esteem and also uh, teaching them skills uh, for uh, becoming independent and for becoming uh, self-aware uh, when they go back to the site so it seems really a very wonderful approach